Well, praise the Lord. I'm Barbara Golder of Temple of Praise Assembly, Indianapolis, Indiana, 3969 Meadows Drive. And it's so good to be here with you today to talk about my newly released book, Face Down. Uh, today we'll be teaching um, on face down prayer. It's important that we realize the significance of bowing face down in prayer. Now, although God uh, may receive prayer in various forms, uh, he'll receive prayer standing up, sitting down, laying down, riding in a car, um, there is a significance in facing down in prayer uh, because it signifies your humility. Um, this form of, of facing down in prayer and, and bowing um, has been pr uh, practiced by cultures all over the world. In particular, um, the Orientals face down to show their humility and also the Hebrews face down to show their humility. Um, if you would get your Bibles, I want you to turn with me to 2 Chronicles 7 and 3. And we're going to read a passage of scripture there. That's 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 3. And it reads, And when all the children of Israel saw how the fire came down and the glory of the Lord upon the house, they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground upon the pavement and worshiped and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. You see, when Solomon had finished building the temple and when he had finished praying, the Bible says that the glorious presence of the Lord actually came and filled the temple. The fire consumed all of the sacrifices and the very presence of God came in and filled the temple. Just like the Israelites, when we think of the goodness of Jesus and all of the things that he's done for us, we should have a spirit of humility and we should be filled with humble submission to God. Somebody didn't know how they were going to pay their rent, but God stepped in and guess what? You're still in that apartment and in your home, somebody, the doctor gave them a poor report, but guess what? God stepped in and you are still here against all odds somebody was promoted on their job when there were others that were clearly more qualified for the position. There were even others that were laid off and fired, but you kept your job because God prevailed in your life. I'm telling you, there is a significance to face down prayer. Sometimes we pray and it seems as though our prayers are just bouncing off the walls. Sometimes we pray and we find it difficult to focus. It seems like the cares of this world come in and overtake our minds and we can't concentrate wholly on God. Well, may I suggest to you that maybe it's time to reposition yourself. All prayer is commendable and it's necessary if you're going to build a strong relationship with God. But when you assume a position of humility, and you prostrate yourself before God, God will lift you. Even Satan himself recognizes the importance of humbling yourself to authority. In Matthew chapter 4, we see that Satan asked Jesus to fall down and do homage to me. I want you to turn with me to Matthew chapter 4, verse 8. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 8. And it reads, again, the devil taketh him up unto an exceedingly high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and saith unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou will fall down and worship me. You see, Satan wanted Jesus to humble himself and place himself below Satan. Yes, Satan wanted to exalt himself above God. And the only way this could happen is if Jesus would bow down and prostrate himself before Satan. When we lower our bodies, our hearts, and our spirits, and when we pray face down, we give God the honor and the glory that's due his name and we make the devil madder than a junkyard dog. I challenge you today, 
face down in prayer. God bless you.